from wanting an insane 10-year contract with the Silver Arrows to looking at other teams, if Toto Wolff doesn't listen to his demands, here's why Lewis Hamilton's contracts been denied by Mercedes. The seven-time world champion's Formula One future is still hanging in the balance. Because despite claiming that everything's good and that he's going to sign his contract extension soon, there's still no official word on any progress being made. Remember, Hamilton's current deal expires at the end of 2023, meaning if he doesn't renew it, he'd be out of a seat for the 2024 season. But that's not even an issue right now because he knows he's going to get offers from other teams. The issue is that even though he wants to commit to the Silver Arrows for the future, and they want the same for him, his demands are just way too outrageous. Because Hamilton wants an insane 10-year contract. But wait, wouldn't that mean he's racing well into his late 40s? Well, not exactly. You see, the 10-year deal isn't about extending his racing career at all. Instead, he'd still prefer to retire within the next few years and then continue as an ambassador for the Silver Arrows. But that's not even the tip of the iceberg when it comes to this crazy contract, because apparently it's going to be partially financed by British billionaire Sir Jim Ratcliffe. And guess how much it's worth? Almost $80 million per year. For context, Hamilton's current Mercedes deal hovers around the 35 million mark with a bonus on top if he wins the championship. That puts him second only to the reigning champ, Max Verstappen. But the Silver Arrows obviously don't want to dump that much money into Hamilton, especially for the duration that he's asking. So what do they want? Well, first, they want to get rid of the title-winning bonus, and in return, they're ready to majorly boost his base salary to the point where he'd almost be neck and neck with Max. But again, there's one major point of conflict that they just can't resolve, the length of the contract. You see, Hamilton wants to stay with the Silver Arrows for the long haul. He wants to retire there and turn into an overseeing figure for the team, a bit like Michael Schumacher or Nicky Lauda back in the day. He wants to help the team get back to their dominating ways while also doing all the marketing side of things with his ambassador role. But the thing is, the Silver Arrows don't think they need him to stick around for that long. In fact, they're only offering him a one-year extension with the option of a second year. And if you ask me, that's a bit disrespectful to their greatest ever driver. Why? Well, he's been loyal for over a decade, has rejected several offers from teams like Ferrari, and still wants to end his career and remain a part of the team after he's done. Besides, it's not like he's washed up now. If anything, Hamilton's still faster than most of the drivers on the grid and has been beating his teammate George Russell in 2023 as well. So they can't do the Fernando Alonso thing with him, saying he's too old for a long-term deal. Though honestly, if you ask Toto, he makes it look like the deal's already done and they're just waiting to announce it. I mean, he actually said that it's going to take 30 minutes for them to come to an agreement. And Hamilton agreed too saying it's only a matter of time before the deal is finalized because their goals are very much aligned. So what's the issue? Well, again, it looks like there's a real difference between what they say in public and what's going on behind the scenes because there have been rumblings that Lewis isn't happy with the team's progress currently. Sure, they've finally made a recovery after switching over from their zero pod concept, but they're still nowhere near good enough to challenge Red Bull. And when you consider that Hamilton doesn't have many years left in the sport anyway, he'd much rather move to a team where he's got a better chance of winning that eighth title. Also, remember when he went on that rant about the team not listening to him? Yeah, he said that he told them they needed to switch the car's concept early on because it was never going to work. And he was right, since Mercedes did have to do a U-turn on their strategy. So, there's tons of frustration on that front too because if they'd listened to Lewis earlier, they could have been competing against Red Bull by now. And Toto Wolff agrees. He totally understands Hamilton's frustrations with the team and admits that they made a mistake by not listening to him. Plus, he's also aware that Lewis has a lot of options on the table from other teams, so he could easily leave if he doesn't get a championship-winning car. He says they're still going to try their best to give him a competitive machine, at least within the next couple of years anyway. And if they fail then he won't be salty if Hamilton does start looking elsewhere. Besides, even though the contract situation is complicated, let's not forget that the seven-time champ can't just go and talk to another team right now. Why? 
Well, because he's got a loyalty pact with Toto, he can't go and talk to other parties before it's fully confirmed that they won't be continuing their relationship. So, Lewis won't talk to Ferrari, and Toto won't talk to another driver like Charles Leclerc. And considering that we haven't heard about any actual talks, it's safe to assume that Lewis's mind is still at Mercedes. Toto says he's absolutely confident that the Brit will stay because they've got a great bond and they trust each other. Besides, the team is on a positive trajectory right now, so things are going to be all good when they bounce back from this hiccup. Still, that doesn't mean the Silver Arrows are going to bow down to Hamilton's demands, because they want him to agree to their terms. Reports say that even though they both want their relationship to continue, the German manufacturer is pushing Lewis to reduce his demands. They're still going to decide whether that's in the form of a reduced salary or a reduced contract length even though they could very well offer him a five-year contract, which should be a nice middle ground for both sides. Plus, it'd suit Hamilton in terms of his driving career, too, since the new engine regulations kick into play after 2025, and he'd get to try out the new Mercedes power unit before making a decision. So, if the car still isn't good enough to challenge for the title in 2026, he's either going to retire or switch teams, though retirement's probably the safer bet because he's not getting any younger. That said, there are some insiders, like Sky Sports' David Croft, who think that a deal's already been completed. But wait, if they've agreed to a contract, then why haven't they announced it yet? Especially when they know that silly season's around the corner, and fans are going to be very anxious about it. Well, Crofty thinks that Mercedes is gearing up to announce the new contract at Hamilton's home race, the British Grand Prix. But there's the other side of this story, too, because several media outlets have approached Toto and Lewis, and they've both refused to comment on the situation, so there's some tension in the air, too. In fact, if we do get to the silly season without an announcement, then Lewis could be looking at offers from other teams. But what about the pact? You see, when a driver's in the final year of his contract, he usually signs an extension during the first half of the season. And if he gets to the summer break without a new contract, then it basically means he's open for business and other teams can approach him. So now that we're getting super close to the silly season and Toto isn't ready to meet Lewis's demands, he could start looking elsewhere. And by elsewhere, I mean Ferrari, since Red Bull isn't going to put him next to Max anyway. But hey, the Scuderia has shown interest in the Brit before, and given their current situation with a frustrated Leclerc and an underperforming Saints, Hamilton could be the guy they need to get back on track again. Besides, the seven-time champs also admitted that he's thought of finishing his career elsewhere. He says he's grown up watching Ferrari drivers on the big screens, and he's always wondered what it'd be like to wear the iconic red suit. But he also says he doesn't want to get ahead of himself just yet, because at the end of the day, Mercedes is still his home, and he's happy to stay here for the long haul. Sure, he hasn't signed a contract yet, but he says he's working closely with Toto to get it done ASAP. So there you have it. From looking at other teams if Toto Wolf doesn't listen to his demands, to wanting an insane 10-year contract with the Silver Arrows, that was why Lewis Hamilton's contract has been denied by Mercedes.